Polar says, Sheila, thanks for the losses earlier. Oof. So it seems like these guys maybe have been queuing some ranked. And maybe Sheila has been getting the better of the two. We got us a best of five here. I'm going to close the prediction in another 30 seconds. If you want to make a bet, you need to do so now. Sheila with lots of patience. Pretty standard flick to start things off. Reset. Actually, it looks like it probably was not acquired there. So Sheila just goes for the secondary touch. As a next or an alternative option, Polar is actually going to be the one to strike first here in game one. Another shot just under the crossbar, Polar. Uh, by two. Good setup from Polar, has the reset. Looks for a musty to the far post. It's just a bit wide. Gonna have to hustle back to defense. Sheila looking to set up the cut, sending the ball lateral. Now he and Polar race for the touch. Sheila wins the race, but Polar gets a nice bump to prevent Sheila from further attacking. Now Polar has control. Oh my goodness, huge flick. A little bit too much. Sends it into the... Above the crossbar, actually. Ceiling shot. Blocked away by Sheila. Who's having a little bit of trouble with the... Resource management in this game. I think Polar is doing a great job of... Keeping Sheila low. Early flick from Polar is good. 3-0 lead. Polar was spending some time. He's just recently back to Europe. He was spending some time in North America. I don't remember the name of the college. Mm. I should. I'll look it up in just a moment. But he played with, um, I think, TKRL. He was playing some CRL over in North America. <clears throat> Big challenge win there for Sheila. He's going to put his first in. Let me see if I can look it up just real quick. But I don't, um, I don't think that Polar was too focused on RLCS. I'm sure that he was playing. Maybe his CRL team was even playing. But I don't think he was too focused on RLCS. It was Harrisburg. That's right, Harrisburg. Thank you, G. Milto. I appreciate it. And Sheila, on the other hand, um, <clears throat> is not playing CRL, but definitely is pursuing competitive play, as I do think both of them are. Polar may just be more focused on CRL at the moment. Sheila, unfortunately, has not been able to make it into the main event just yet. However, he has been able to hit the reset. Good control from this left wall. Nice and so uh, slow. He's got the soft touch over the top. Let's cut that deficit to one. 
Polar actually missed that corner boost. Zap dash there does allow him to pick up some speed. He's going to have to be careful here not to get demoed. Does well to turn maybe the unexpected way. Sheila, I think, missed. The net was open. Certainly should have been a scoring opportunity. Flip reset, just a bit high. Sheila has Polar on low boost, snaps a shot straight away, and unfortunately, it's a turnover. Polar now the other direction. Reset, no flick on it. Sheila sends it lateral, so Polar should actually have time to get back to defense. Good patience from Sheila. 23 seconds left, and he's tied things up. Magnificent. Sheila falling off the ceiling. Polar knows that he has a dodge. Shows the musty flick. And the hesitation, the delay, just causes a bit of panic from Polar on the goal line. Hold on. Polar! Zero seconds. A huge play to push it into overtime. Incredible control there. Crazy conclusion to game one. Polar's going to have the first opportunity. He's off the left wall. A little bit of an awkward takeoff, so he's going to bail out. Head back to the ground. Absorbs a 50 there. Got caught in an awkward spot. But he bails out of it. Heads back to his own side. Good setup. Has the reset. Does get the touch around the op opponent's clear attempt. So he'll keep possession. Try again from this right wall. Another reset. The fake is good, and it bounces to the top shelf. Polar. It's going to take game one. Something that you guys may not know about Polar. He's been playing, competing for a long time. But a while back, he was on a team called Stormtroopers. And on that team... Was Polar, Dead Monster, and apparently Jack. It's a nice finish from Sheila. Good, good bounce in the corner. Provides him with an easy opportunity. He'll strike first in game two. So Polar, former, former teammate Abjag, plenty of teammates actually. If you go through his Liquipedia page, he's like I said, he's competed for a long time. Looks for the reset opportunity this time. Sheila shuts it down quickly, and will put away the open net for a second. the ball you can see obviously a little bit of a mistake there as he drops the whoops in the chat I can't lie I can't lie it is it is enjoyable to see some of the best players you know some very high level players that make those mistakes just makes me feel better about myself because I make those mistakes 
all the time. I mean, probably nearly almost every game, I guess. Oh, we got 900 ping. Let's see here. We can just pause it. All right, he's back down to, uh, yeah, 30. There we go. Oh, and look at that. Polar's put one in. I was not even paying attention, so he could have been having some, um, some ping issues there for a while. But he's quickly turned things around. Was that a strategic DC timeout? Is that what that was? Polar needed a moment to take a deep breath. <laughs> turned his ping up to 900. Sheila, nice challenge. May have an opportunity here. It's nice to play it safe, just... Take the corner boost. That actually was maybe not the greatest decision. And Polar will quickly hustle this down this left side of the field and sneak a shot in the near post. Polar, the kickoff play is good as well. And after the 5-0 run to start the game, Polar has quickly turn things around oh wow I thought that was on target Sheila patience pulls it back to his own side Got a full field air dribble. Sets up the reset. Oh! A fantastic goal line stand there by Polar. He's kept the score line at 4-5. And has put Sheila on the back foot. read from Polar. Knew that Sheila would want to slow things down. Polar just continuing to pressure Sheila, not give them too much space. Oh! Great save. And Sheila has actually just passed it to Polar. 69 seconds left. And Polar has tied it up. Sheila loft one high. Polar on zero. Does pick up a single singular pad. Oh, and the boost spawns in the corner. Sheila. Oh. The fake. The bait. The patience. Just takes it nice and slow all the way to the ground. And pulls out the delay kickoff. Earns himself a possession, but Polar plays it well. 
Now he's heading the other direction. Oh, 70 boosts in the tank. Looks to go for the double touch. Actually just going to Goomba stomp Sheila on the backboard. Fuller has to turn here. Sheila knows it. Sheila's double is good. And with five seconds left, game two is in the books. Sheila will equalize here in the series. Polar says, bro, someone's trying to use my card in Myrtle Beach. Bro is getting scammed in the middle of a best of five show match. Dedication. He's still playing. He wants the dub. He says, identity theft comes later. 1v1s right now. Hoping for an extra touch there. He does well. He's got about half the tank full. Now he's got the corner. Completely replenished. Early challenge there in the middle. We'll keep things locked in the blue, excuse me, the orange half here. Secures that boost. It's a reset. No bump. Oh, Sheila sent the shot so wide. Hey, that's challenging. Sheila sent the shot. Y'all try that. That's like the seashells thing. Sheila sent shot wide. We got 3.30 on the clock. That one's in. Sheila will score their second. Oh, early reset. Double reset. Polar It's on target, but Sheila has the save. Now both players on low boost hustling towards the ball. Polar will grab possession. Pull things back to his own back wall. Full field aerial play. Has the reset. And it's good. Polar at your Nan's house. Nice flip reset play. That's a great shot from Polar. Just gets a flick directly on target, surprising his opponent, I think. Surprising me, that's for sure.
Whoa. Polar, a couple extra touches. We'll push this down towards Sheila, but eventually it will be a turnover of possession. Sheila's flick a bit too telegraphed. Polar with an easy save. Both players back off for their corner boosts. Sheila with an early shot. Once again, off target. Polar gets the demo and knocks in the freebie. Sheila has unfortunately just had a similar problem that we saw with Scream in the previous series. When the open opportunities present themselves, you have got to capitalize. And Sheila has missed a few of those opportunities throughout the series. get the feeling that that was another free opportunity fortunately Sheila does eventually get it ac across the goal line but I'm not sure what the delay was there I certainly would have expected a knit an immediate shot oh they're looking for the air dribble cringe not gonna land it Sheila, maybe setting up the hook shot. Can't secure the corner boost, has to hustle back. But I think Polar's going to beat him to the touch. He's actually not. Sheila, great hustle back to defense. Going to keep the scoreline locked at three, but Polar has possession. Barreling down. Oh, the fake underneath Polar. That is just rude. High pressure works out in his favor he secured the boost as well Sheila really needs to smack this on target immediately but can't do so polar it's gonna go up 2-1 in the series game four polar on match point early reset oh my goodness he slapped mustard all over that one. What a hot start to game four. Sheila with a quick response. Will tie us up early here. And that one looks like it is on target. Sheila learning from the past mistakes. Sheila trying to bait a poor challenge out of Polar. But he plays patiently. Polar with absolutely no boost in the tank. Sheila knows it. Just waiting for the right time. Polar's done really well to refill the tank, though. He got a couple pads picked up. Enough boost in the tank to turn and challenge here.
Tila with a full tank. Saw the free jump from Polar, but it was actually a kind of a bait free jump. And once Polar got the early shot out of Sheila, just heads back down to the ground and grabs possession. That demo should buy Sheila plenty of space here. Reset. Holds it. Oh, my. The flip reset. Aerial demo. That is dirty. Shot to the far side by Polar. He's kept it simple this go. Great read by Polar. Early challenge. Sheila was hoping to get a an outplay. But wasn't quick enough. Polar just one step ahead. This time Sheila with boost in the tank gets the reset. Doesn't get the flick that he needs. And Polar will counterattack. He's going to put in a fifth. We got 2.45 on the clock. A lot of game to play. Oh! Oh! Polar's clear. Bounces off the post. Obviously, right into Sheila's lap. Again with a huge challenge. Oof. Polar and Sheila fighting for position and boost. The Polar is going to win the match as he races out there to the corner boost. Knocks in a sixth. 217 on the clock. Very smart by Sheila. Should be a goal. It is. Just absorb that challenge. He knows that that's going to fire out to the right and forwards. A good bounce back into the middle of the field. Provide an opportunity for Sheila to take a shot. It's back within one. Oh, my. Great read by Polar as well. But Sheila, this time, is going to be the one to counter. Makes a goal line save. Sends the clear on target. 147 to play. We're tied up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mistake on the backboard. Provide an opportunity. Sheila with a quick response. Just rips one from the midfield. Polar will have the boost. And possession. He's looking for a demo, but Sheila... Keen to it. Returns the favor, actually. Nice play, Sheila. 
Earns the resource advantage. Keeps it up high. Flip reset from the air dribble. Great flick to conclude the play. Sheila with a late lead. Potential for game five. Sheila way down the field, low boost in the tank. Will eventually get back. Oh, it's a great save on the goal line. Polar gonna continue to press. Has the midfield boost taken. Wait, trips up Sheila, but has to pull this back to his corner. Neither player gets that midfield boost spawn. Polar on zero. What does he have in store? Wait a second. He's wrestled it past. Sheila. Six seconds left. Polar. An equalizing goal. Sheila! Zero seconds. Flicks off the post and in. We're heading to game five. Control by Polar. He's able to scoop the midfield boost and the corner as well. Sheila. Nothing in the tank. Now Polar. Has an opportunity. Flicks towards the target. Actually, a pretty poor save from Sheila. It's fortunate that Polar chose to swing out for the corner boost. Both players now, throughout the first 60 seconds of this game, when they earn possession, just don't have much boost in the tank to attack with. It's the first opportunity with some boost. Sheila will put the first one in. Look at Fear. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Just in time for game five. I always forget to change the title. It's set up by Polar. And one final touch over the top is good. We're level at one. I agree, Barry. It is kind of shocking. Normally, normally it's called out like as soon as the prior match ends, actually. Patience from Sheila on defense. Polar actually missed that corner boost, so he'll have to back off. Sheila with a full tank. And again, we see Polar just dive quickly on these, these presses from Sheila where he is looking to slow things down. He's looking to get into a ball carry. Polar's having none of it. Quickly turns, apply some pressure. And many times, because I think it is catching Sheila off guard, it's a huge, a huge challenge win. Polar. A little bit of space to work with. It's a demo. Just gonna have to back off here. Has his corner stolen. Sheila hoping for a bump. And has secured all of the big pads. The polar still in position for defense. Has a couple of small pads to work with. Oh, Sheila did not get the ground pinch. Needed one extra touch. And just couldn't make it happen. Does maintain possession. 
Has the reset. Both players on low boost. And this will be pulled back into the orange end. Sheila just unable to read what Polar's doing. Favorable bounce in front of the orange net. Provides Polar with an opportunity. He puts a third in. There it is again. We see Polar. An immediate challenge. He's going to run past the ball, so we'll have to hustle back to defense. Wow, what a save. Obviously, we're on Polar's camera there, so we can... Or Polar's POV, so we can see it. But he's not even looking at the ball. He just knows exactly where it's going to be shot. This time, he can't reach it. A favorable bounce in the corner. Sheila strikes for a second. Sheila with a long shot. Testing the defense of Polar. A clean beat in the corner. Allows him to put in a third. 65 seconds. Sheila will have the possession. Both players up early. Polar looking for the bump. Connects, but it doesn't matter. Sheila finishes the double either way. Earns himself a one goal lead inside the final 60 seconds. Big kickoff win for Sheila. Maybe another opportunity to score and extend that lead. Looks to shoot early. Does have the boost. Yoinked out from underneath him. Now Polar. Hoping for a demo. No contact. And that may be another opportunity for Sheila. It is. We got less than 30 seconds left. And Sheila has come up with two big goals here. In the final moments of game five. Polar needs to put one in immediately if he wants an opportunity to keep this game alive. And he can't do it. Polar will lose in game five. GG's. Sheila takes the victory.